Chapter 16, A Chip Off the Old Block. Since the morning Zona's angel appeared to her, she hasn't taken one ounce of dope. <laughs> she is completely set free. When Bobby heard about it, he began to seek God again too. And God saved him all over again and delivered him from dope. Then eventually they got back together, got married again, and started all over. Glory to God forever. After Zona and Bobby were drug free, born again, and happily married for three years, one day they came to see me and started telling me they wanted to have a baby. After Zona, I'm sorry, Daddy, I think I want a baby, Zona told me. I couldn't believe my ears, but there was a problem. When they decided to have a baby, the doctor said that they had taken too much dope to conceive. You've taken so much dope that you have messed up your body. The anorexia and the dope together have messed up your insides so badly that you would never be able to conceive. At this point, Zona teared up a little bit, but went on. The doctor says we might be able to have a baby if I have an operation. But even if I did have the operation, he couldn't promise me that we would. Oh, daddy, I don't want an operation. I just want a baby. So she just let it drop. I knew if Bobby and Zona were really serious, I would hear more. Nearly two years had passed when Zona came to my office and said it was still her desire. Daddy, I still want a baby. And I was just thinking, you believe that Jesus is a miracle worker? Could he perform this kind of miracle for me? I said, yeah, Zona, he could. But do you really, really want a baby? After listening to her for a while, she convinced me that she and Bobby did want a baby. Daddy, I want you to lay hands on me and ask God to give us a child. So we went to a pastor who was really successful in praying for barren women. We laid hands on Zona and, and agreed in Jesus' name to heal whatever was wrong to make it possible for Zona to have a baby. Then the doctor laid hands on her and prayed that she would conceive. Then we continued to pray and believe and asked others we had confidence in to pray. Not long after we got serious with God, Zona got pregnant and gave birth to a beautiful little girl. I know she is beautiful because she looks exactly like me. <laughs> if you ever in one of my meetings when Zona is there, just see for yourself. A chip off the old block. Once when Shadrach, I'm sorry, Shambach, once when Shambach was helping me in one of my meetings, he walked in and said, I'm here to see that baby. So he walked over and took one look at the baby and said, oh God, this baby looks like you. Never in my life did I ever see a baby that looks so much like anybody as this baby looks like you. Then he said, oh God, please don't let this baby continue to look like Norvell. <laughs> Glory to God. Not two of them on earth. Not two of them, he went on. The next couple of times I saw Shambach, he told me he was praying for God to change Zona's baby's looks. <laughs> I'm not kidding. She does look like me. But Glory to God, There's not. that's not the end of the story. Not only do Zona and Bobby have a wonderful baby girl, but Zona answered a call from God to minister to women who are overweight or have anorexia. She opened a beautiful exercise place where ladies come to work out and has about 13 instructors to help her with 30 some, cla 30 -some classes a week. She also ministers to women and girls who are on drugs. And she has written her own book called Fatness to Fitness. Zona is no longer a divorced drug addict Covered with knots and boils, she is God's child, totally delivered from the onslaughts of the devil. Blessed be the name of Jesus forever. It took, Zona's, it took Zona's guardian angel to shake her up and to bring about the answer to all the prayers we pray for her. She never forget, glory to God, that it pleases God. I'm sorry, so never forget, glory to God, that it pleases God to send an angel to set you free from all your bondages. Angel Sending Faith Angels are real. Yes, they are. Oh, yeah. Some of them are so much bigger than you can imagine because it takes a big angel to do warfare. And sometimes they have to do warfare. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. Revelation 12, 7 and 8. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, does not bring, durst not bring against him a, a railing accusation, but said, the Lord rebuked thee, Jude 1 and 9. And angels can materialize. 
If you want to know the truth about it, angels can walk through a wall into your dining room and have a meal with you. Then they can get up and walk right back through the wall before your eyes. Angels are created beings. They are ministering spirits and they will minister to you if God needs them to. If they have to materialize to shake someone up or minister or minister help to someone, God can cause it to happen. There are also angels that bring us a message or help in other ways. The angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel that stand in the presence of God and am sent to speak unto thee and to show thee these glad tidings. Luke 1 and 19. I know for certain that many of us would be dead today if it had not been for our angel. Why? Because this world is full of demons and there is constant warfare in heaven going on between the angels, the demons, and the devil. Jude 1 and 9. Active voice of victory faith gets God in on your fight. God has armies of angels and the air is full of demons. So you need to let God in on your fight. You need to get his attention by letting, letting him know you believe him in any situation and that he will deliver you by faith. Anything that comes into your life that is not good or healthy or strong or of good rapport is the work of hell. So if you go to church and have a pastor who doesn't know anything about binding and casting out demons and doesn't want to learn about any of it, or if you yourself are trying to pastor a church and you don't want to deal with the devil or demons, you might as well be driving a truck. And if you go to a church where the pastor doesn't know anything about binding the devil and dealing with demons, that's crazy. Why do I say this? Because devils and demons are here to to wreck the human race. If you go to a church where you spend your time and money and the pastor of the church doesn't know how to deal with the devil, always remember this, you have a choice. The devil is crazy. He is your enemy and he's gonna do everything he can to get to you. So you have better find some place where they know how to deal with the devil and love God. Find the church that wins souls for Jesus, throws the devil out and gets the glory of God in the place. But you say, well, Brother Norvell, they don't have a church like that in my town. Well, then, why don't you pray and ask God for his anointing and guidance? Maybe he will have you bind, uh, build one, excuse me, or maybe someone else. Glory to God forever. It can be done, and God will visit there. Glory to Jesus. When an angel as big as two men comes down from heaven, he doesn't have to preach a sermon. All he has to do is just appear in a dope addict's room, say, look, <laughs> and devils look at that big angel and they go. When your faith pleases the Lord, he will use you as a faithful servant to minister to others every day, every day. And he will honor your voice of victory and send angels on your behalf. He will accept your faith, your faithful worship and speak to the, the hearts of businessmen to prosper you financially. He will heal your body and the bodies of others you pray for. He will ask you to show others how to walk in God's pleasing faith. That's why I have shared this book, how I learned to follow him after spending years in a traditional denomination that didn't live in God's world of unseen faith. Glory to God. If he could get my attention, he could get anybody's. And that's why I have shared how Holda pleased the Lord in believing active faith to escape cancer's sentence of death and how Rock Hudson was born again because of a woman, a woman's servant hearted, hearted obedience to bring him my tapes and how my daughter daughter Zona was set free because of active Bible faith. If you're following the Lord, you need to know and live in this kind of Bible faith because without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder. Get that a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hebrews 11 and 6. Jesus wants you to take care of your body so he can walk in your shoes. Oh yeah, Jesus wants to stand up like blind Bartimaeus, Bartimaeus against the unbelief of others and give you a miracle. He wants you to press into the crowd like the woman with the issue of blood so virtue can flow to you. And Jesus wants you to worship him like the Canaanite woman so he can set the captives free. Pleasing the Lord is easy once you decide to believe God by faith, never doubting that he will always perform his word. Glory to God. When you obey the Bible by, by saying and acting on what Jesus said in his word, he will do anything for you because you will be pleasing the Lord. So go do it. Amen. Mm.